Good evening everyone. I am popping onto the page this evening to talk to you about arms. I get asked a lot, how do you strengthen and tone your arms without weights? And <clears throat> you absolutely can do it. I do sometimes use weights, um, but that's not always convenient. Not everyone has weights. If you're traveling, you don't have weights. It, they're not you know, a convenient thing unless you have a home gym. So there are lots of different exercises that you can do to help tone and strengthen your arms. And I'm gonna walk you through my top five ones that I do on a regular basis to help keep my arms and my shoulders nice and toned and nice and strong. So let me walk you through those. I'm in the dance studio again this evening, so apologies for background noise. That's the men playing football downstairs in the sports center, if you can hear them. Um, but I've been left alone now in this lovely dance studio. So I'm gonna go back on my mat and show you some arm exercises. I tend to focus on um, my triceps. So if I'm doing press ups or anything, I do nice and tight price, uh, press ups to focus on strengthening the triceps. They are more challenging um, than the press-ups where you're taking the elbows out, but I'm just gonna walk you through how you build that up. So first one, I'm gonna show you is a, a tricep dip. So I like to do them on the side. You can, of course, do them um, backwards like this, working this way. If you happen to be on holiday and you're in a swimming pool, you can get in the swimming pool, hold onto the side and push yourself up and down on the edge of the swimming pool, which is quite nice. Um, but I'm not in a swimming pool. So on your side, taking the hand away from the body, decent amount of space, and then you're going to bend the elbow in towards the rib cage. So if I come side on this way, my elbow is coming straight in towards my rib cage. It's not going out to the back. So you're going to bend in. So you would start off maybe taking eights here, one, push up, two, push up. You do eight of these and then on the eighth one you hold it down for eight counts. And come back up, take a break, give it a stretch and then you could go again, making sure the elbow is coming in towards the body, keeping the shoulders down, engaging the core to hold the body nicely. So you do eight here. And then after eight, you're going to hold that down there. And then, of course, you would repeat that over on the other arm. So really nice. You're really going to feel that after a few sets of that in the triceps. The next one that I do, and I try and do these daily, uh, is press-ups. I know they're not everyone's favourite thing to do, but they're really, really effective. And um, it, you know, the more often you do, you can build up strength pretty quickly. So there's two different ways you can do it. So you can come up into a full plank, and then again, elbows are coming in towards the rib cage, chest down, and then pushing up. And you need to make sure that you're pushing your bum up at the same time as the chest comes up. So you don't want to come down here and then end up pushing, and then the bum comes. That is quite challenging if you've never done press-ups before. Um, so what I would recommend you do instead, either you get into that position and you're on a bench, so you're slightly elevated and you're pressing at this angle, or you can come into that plank position, drop the knees down, raise the feet off the floor, and you can start here. And you can just start with small ones, coming down, and then build up to taking the body a bit lower and pushing up. And as you can see, let me show you from the front, my elbows are coming in towards my rib cage, they're not coming out. So we're working the back, back of the arms, triceps again, not the chest. If you take them out this way, that's helping to um, strengthen the chest. We're focusing on the arms. So you're going to keep them in this position and bend the elbows in towards your rib cage. So that's my second um, go-to arm exercise. And I didn't start doing full plank um, press-ups and, and for a little while until I'd built up a little bit of strength. So don't go straight into doing that. Keep the knees down, keep the core engaged, keep the shoulder blades open, and just nice and gently, you can do little mini ones to start with, eight little mini ones, take a break, and then just see how you go. See if you can do one full one down to the floor and back up again, and then take a break, and eventually you'll progress to doing them in this position. Okay, my third go-to exercise is plank. 
And plank is obviously an amazing exercise to do for the whole body, but they definitely strength, it helps to strengthen the arms and shoulders as well. So in a full plank, making sure that your wrists are under your shoulders, your feet, take the hip width apart, press back through your heels, pull your tummy in, squeeze your bottom, open your shoulder blades, and here. And then if you, you can hold that, you can time yourself, so you can um, <clears throat> do that for 30 seconds to begin with and build up to 45 seconds a minute. But another nice thing to add into that is shoulder taps. Again, you can do this with the knees down to build up the strength to begin with if you need to, keeping the core engaged. Try not to sit the bottom back over the knees. But the shoulder taps, you're going to take the hand, touch the opposite shoulder and replace. Opposite shoulder, replace. Opposite shoulder, replace without allowing the hips to move around. So you want to keep the hips nice and square, use the core, and then you're going to take one hand at a time onto the opposite shoulder. So that's my third one. So first one, the tricep dips, second one, the press ups, and the third one, the shoulder taps. But you can adapt all of these, so take the knees down if you need to. The next one is pike position. So you're going to start in the plank, I'm going to start here, Shoulder, uh, feet um, hip width apart, and you're going to push your bum up into the air, right up onto the toes, and press your chest towards your feet, looking through your legs. And then you're going to come back down, press through the heels, and making sure you're holding the core so you don't dip the bottom down. And up again, up, and back down, and up, right upon the toes, press back through the heels as you come down. Okay, so you could do a set of eight of those, take a break, and then repeat. So that's the, my fourth go-to arm exercise. The final one um, is normally done stood up. We do these a lot in class. So feet in first, arms out to the side, flex the hands, and you're going to circle the arms. So if you think you're circling, if you're working with the heel of the hand and you're circling that size of a tennis ball, so you're going to take it back, two, three, four, shoulders down in the back, and then you can reverse it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, other way, two, three, and you can keep going. Just make sure that you're keeping the arms um, shoulder width, so you're not up here. The shoulders are relaxed down into the back, you're holding your arms out to the side, and taking it round like that. So that's great for the arms, great for the shoulders. Make sure that you're standing correctly, really good posture, and you can keep in, you know, counting eight one way, eight the other way, eight one way, eight the other way, uh, and you can do those in sets. So five go-to arm exercises that I do on a regular basis that I feel have helped me keep my arms toned, my shoulders toned, and also mainly for me is the strength because I, I'm quite a competitive person. And so I like to see, you know, week on week, you know, how many more can I do now? Um, and I like pushing myself and I like to see the development and the progress. So um, for me, doing those press ups every single day and within a couple of weeks, I saw a huge difference. Um, my children tend to get involved when they see me doing press ups. My son can still do more than me, he's only eight. But it's, it's a fun thing to do, they're easy to do, you don't need weights, uh, you can do them anywhere, you can do them in your pyjamas, you, you, know, you don't necessarily need to warm up too much, um, obviously you wouldn't roll out of bed and start doing it, but you know, moving a few shoulder rolls, moving the body um, for the planks, just um, moving the body around a little bit. But really, really nice exercises, simple exercises that you can track. You know, you can track how many you've done on day one and then see if you can start to see a little bit of improvement. Um, when I'm teaching in class and we're doing any press-ups or anything of that form, the pikes or anything like that, um, or particularly with planks, I would say, you know, if you're starting to, to feel like you've had enough, with a plank, try to go for another 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, with press-ups, try to get another two out if you can. 
so obviously you don't want to push yourself to exhaustion where you're then at risk of being hurt but it's it's always best to push the body a little bit that's when you're going to start seeing the difference and when you're going to strengthen so I hope that's helpful. If anyone's got any questions that's watching, please let me know. Let me know if you're currently doing any of those exercises and how you're getting on with that, or if you have any questions at all. Uh, we have just finished up this Monday class now for Christmas, and we're not coming back till the 13th of January. So if any of you that are watching have just done this class, then those are some nice arm exercises that you can do so that when you come back in January, uh, it's not um, too hard. It's always a bit of a shock to the system coming back in January. So a few exercises that you could easily do over that Christmas period. Um, a really nice excuse to lock yourself in a room and be left alone for 10 minutes. We all need that excuse um, over Christmas. So yeah, write those exercises down. You can track how many you're doing in reps of eight uh, each day and see if you can build some strength in your arms ready for January. If you've got any questions, let me know, but I hope that was helpful to you. And if you have tried any of those exercises, do please let me know how you get on. But make the um, adaptations if you need to. Don't go all out and say, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go straight in and do the press up. Better to build up the strength and do it with good form correctly without being hurt than to you know, just go straight in and, and try and get that strength. It's much better to take it easy and do it incrementally and build that strength up. Okay, all right, well, I will see you again next Monday and I hope you all have a fantastic week. Let me know if you do any of those exercises. Okay, bye.